So the question here is, uh, is this function an autocorrelation function or not? Anyone? What do, you, what do you think it is? Yes or no? Of course, one person can say yes, another person say no. One of you will be right, right? Anybody has an idea? So if it is, a, how do you check whether something is an autocorrelation? Is it stationary? Is this why it's stationary, this autocorrelation function? That's easy, right? That even a five-year-old kid can say, because this is not a function of t1 minus t2. But whether this is even an autocorrelation function, anybody has any idea? Remember, as I said, it's not why it's stationary, clearly. So that's not going to help you, right? Or your transform is not going to help you. Anyone? I mean, I want to. Hear, I don't want to hear yes or no because I want to hear an yes qualified with some answer, some intelligent answer. Oh. So, what? Anybody is logic? Uh, any logic on either way? Why is this? Uh, so what we are asking is, is this a non-negative definite function or not, right? So one way to prove it is this is AI, AJ star, RTI, TJ should be what? Anybody? We have to show that the, is this, we are asking, is this always greater than zero or not? What? It doesn't matter what AIs or AJs are. So let me substitute into this one. So this is double summation, AI, AJ star, T A T J, right? That's what it is given. I just substituted for this function. But suddenly you see, this is I equal to 1 through n, J equal to 1 through n. If you remember, we also said this can be written as like this, right? A1, A2, etc., an, A1 star, A2 star, etc., an star. This is our matrix with the T A T J here. So this is R, this is A star, uh, this is A. So another way of saying is that this scalar, is it positive or not? So we can, this is, of course, it's only a property of this matrix. But you can solve it here easily. If you look. So if you expand that, uh, this quadratic product, you will get this. That is this. But this, do you see this? So that's this, right? Because the variables split here, right? So of course I can write this as AI, TI. So this is what I wanted you to do. So of course this is positive. So consequently now I can say that TI, TJ is an autocorrelation function, but it is not quite sensationary. So if this process is, anybody, what happens if I, if I pass this process through a differentiator? So let me call this process to be x of t. Let me see whether you learned anything. What would be the properties of y of t, anyone? So this is not white and stationary. So the output is not going to be white and stationary. But what can you say about its? Autocorrelation function. Huh? So just do it. So what is a cross correlation function? D by D. So what is it? D, uh, cross correlation and the autocorrelation function of the output. Anyone remembers the? What is D uh, D X Y T one T two T I T J? We went through actually this example earlier. What if it was h of t here, which is, this is an h of t, right? So what is the cross correlation function? Remember, y of t is x prime t, right? Differentiation with respect to tj first and then. Of what? Differentiation of what? Uh, autocorrelation. All right, so if you differentiate with respect to tj, what do you get? Ti only. Okay, then second step? So do you, anybody remember this? R x, x prime 
T I T J is what? So you you need to have some. So this is going to be T I, right? And then R X prime X prime uh, T I comma T J will be. So that will turn out to be what? It's so hard to take a derivative of this with respect to All right, so one corresponds to what? If this is the autocorrelation function of? Uh, anyway, uh, this is an autocorrelation function, right? What is its power spectrum? Im right, impulse. So this is not white noise, you can call it the Converse process, but it is stationary because the output autocorrelation is not a function of, is a function of t1 minus t2. t1 and t2 doesn't appear separately. So here is an, another example by <coughs> default, a non-stationary process uh, going through a linear system generating a stationary process. But you see, if you do this, uh, if you have t squared here, what if you have t squared and t squared here? Anybody? If you have t squared here, t squared here. Then again the same. Same thing. So that will be an autocorrelation function. But the output will be now t i t j or I mean, right? It will be 4 t i t j, right? All right. So that won't be so non-stationary, non-stationary, right? But t i t j squared is not an autocorrelation function. You, you seem to have some doubts? Uh, a little bit. So, did you assume that if AI doesn't equal to HI, it will be zero? Uh, uh, look at here. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. I got it. You're too relaxed. I'm not That's fine. I was just so you look here. So another way is we could have. Uh, let me show you another way. Uh, so the, you could. Uh, so this is the properties of R. So R is what here. R, what is the first entry here? So this is T1 squared, this is T1, T2, T1, T3, right, etc. So this will be T i T j. So very quickly, if you have, you should be able to see that you can write it like this, right? This is T1, T2, T n, T1, T2, T n. So you see that this matrix is rank 1. And now, of course, if I do A star A here, I can do A star A here. But this, of course, I could. So if I call this to be a T vector, so this is A star T, absolute value squared, same result again. Okay. So this is an autocorrelation function. Minimum of T i comma T j, there are, uh, it's already done. A couple of people have done it. Autocorrelation plus autocorrelation is? If I add another autocorrelation function to an autocorrelation function, what about the new one? It will be because uh, this, this thing goes through. So you see, this will be an autocorrelation function, right? But what is this autocorrelation function of? Poisson process that we, we studied uh, this. Right? So the so piecewise there this is Wiener process, this is something else, but if you put it together you get Poisson process, right?